How to create a parametric rectangular table in chairs block. Draw a rectangle 80 by 250. This will become the table. Add a fixed constraint to the left side of the table. Add a horizontal constraint to the top and bottom edges of the table. Add vertical constraints to the left and right side of the table. Add a linear constraint to the left side of the table and a linear constraint to the length of the table. In the mechanical browser, click on the parameters and change the name of the parameters. Change D1 to W. This is the width of the table. Change D2 to L. This is the length of the table. Add four new parameters. Right click Parameters and choose Add New Parameter from the drop down menu. Click on the new parameter and change the value of the parameter in the bottom of the panel. Name S. Expression 50. This is the spacing between the chairs. Name C. Expression L divided by S. This is the number of chairs. Name G. Expression 10. This is the gap between the table and the chair. Name H, expression 25. For the gap between the edge of the table and the middle of the chair. Insert a chair as a block 25 by 10 from the top left corner of the table. It's a good idea to make sure that the blocks have a sensible base point. For me, this was the center at the bottom of the chair. Use a rectangular array on the chair. Set the number of rows to 0, the number of columns to 5, and the distance between the columns to 50. Set the base point as the middle of the line that marks the boundary of the chair and the cushion, the same as the block base point. Mirror the array. Add a linear constraint between the top of the table and the base point of the top of the array. Add a linear constraint between the side of the table and the base point of the top of the array. Repeat this on the bottom now. Add horizontal constraints to the arrays using the two point option. In the mechanical browser, click on the parameter and change the value of the parameters in the bottom of the panel. Name, D1, Expression, G, Name, Name, D2, Expression, H, Name, D3, Expression, G, Name, D4, Expression, H. Please be aware that the names of the parameters may vary. Use this only as a guide. Click in the array and edit the value at the bottom of the panel. Columns. C. Column spacing, S. Repeat this on the bottom now. Right click on the parameters and select Animate from the drop down menu to see how everything is working. You should now have something like this. Repeat the steps again for the other chair styles. It's useful to hide the arrays before you add a new chair style. Please be aware that the name of the linear constraints will change for each subsequent chair style. Pay attention to this. Enter visibility states. A dialog box will display. Click new parameter and give it a name. Right click the parameter and select add state. 
Repeat this two more times. Name the visibility states economy, mid and premium. Right click and use the Select Invisible Entities, Select Visible Entities options to hide and show the appropriate entities for each visibility state. Now try the different visibility states. If you wish, you can create a design table for the project. Thank you for watching.